realizing what she can do to make uh, to try and punish Jen's neutral gameplay because Jen's whole neutral revolved around not losing the stock. Right. Dill just never was able to exploit it besides towards the end. But anyway, getting right in here now with Jen versus John numbers and I believe loser semis. Yes, loser semis. And the winner of this will go to fight Zamba. And I think Jen actually um, has a pretty solid chance of beating Zamba. So if Jen can't get this numbers win, it could be uh, maybe Zamba outside the top two. Mm -hmm. All right, John, numbers. You know, numbers being a diehard knee sword fighter main, going to the uh, <laughs> going to secondary of Wii Fit takes some adaptation. Um, little known pocket of John Numbers, the Wii Fit. <laughs> yeah, I, I do not think this is a matchup that is going to warrant the knee sword fighter. Palo obviously a really strong character, but I think just doesn't have the ability to totally shut down Wii Fit like a uh, Falco or Rob might have. You know, Falco or Rob both have like buttons that can really mess up Numbers' game plan. And while Palu maybe has that like invincible back air, you have to kind of read with it, you know? It's not so safe that you can do it like on stage or something. Yeah, and I think beyond that, I feel Me Sword Fighter doesn't quite... Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah, doesn't catch the weaknesses that we saw in Chun Numbers' other counter picks. Uh, but the reflected sun salutation will be taking John Numbers' first stock. And now we're going to be seeing uh, Jen's game plan, like you were saying earlier, of just not losing the first stock. Not going to be holding on to it for too long, though. Sun salutation right back. Only 16% extra credit on John Numbers. And Numbers now kind of comfortably playing his ledge game. Though I really cannot get behind that get up attack and going to lose so much percent for it. Yeah, no, great placement of the uh, explosive flame uh, catching that header. Oh, man. That's so much damage. And just made all the percent lost, and now, and some, 101 or 111% on Jen, really in the blink of an eye. Deep mm -hmm. breathing is such a monster. Ooh, that was a great drift by John Numbers. Yeah, I don't know if WeeFit has like a really good air drift or if Numbers is just so tricky with it, but it seems so hard to pin down WeeFit when she does like an air dodge like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Throwing out these down tilts, trying to find one of the uh, classic gen edge guards. Yeah, good stuff from Numbers not really to panic at all after getting down tilted. I think a lot of players. A classic like read pause we get will be like charging F smash from like an air dodge in after getting down tilted. But number is really just like neutral air dodging straight down, not going into Jen at all, because I think Jen usually would wait for the player to come to them in that situation. Yeah, and I mean that's one of the strengths of WeFit is just being able to be so comfortable at that ledge, getting to play the game that John Numbers wants. And now 80%. This game started off really strong for Jen, so great stuff. And while wow, game that deep breathing, really just showing no fear of Jen going deep. Okay, big shield damage. Great reflect by Jen. That Nair really can scramble the header if you do get a read. Oh, went for it right there. But yeah, numbers like once you were again. Saying. Not gonna give Jen that. Yeah, not not quite as hungry for the stage posi stage position as other characters like likely would be, but uh, invincibility running out there for John Numbers could be getting a oh. I mean, who would be ready for that tech? Yeah, that was that was definitely a strange tech. It honestly looked like Numbers was like really far to the right. I, I'm surprised it even hit, but um, definitely. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh. That was funky. It was the late hit of the dare, I believe. So no spike at box. <laughs> Numbers himself is like, I'll take it. Sure. And that's um, that's tough for Jen. You know, you had like one point where you had a 70% lead, and then deep breathing on top of Numbers, really just patient, staying at ledge game, was able to Numbers was able to like barely squeeze that game out. And now starting off 38%, being very aggressive. The mid charge sun salutation going through all of the auto reticle projectiles. Now we're seeing pretty much where we saw all of game one being played here at the ledge. Nice, John Numbers, uh, you know, mixing it up with aggression now and again. The forward air gonna be getting him some stage positioning. 
Ooh, wow. there we go. But aggression right back from Jen. Uh, Jen in game one was very content to, you know, poke with down tilts, but that time getting the back it. Yeah, and Ooh, like you were saying, Jen, game one was never going that deep, so numbers kind of didn't respect Paulo that much. Was doing like charging deep breathing and charging sun salutation super low. And I think Jen kind of saving that for game two, knowing that numbers would not be ready for it, and at 170%. Oh, oh good. Holding my breath on that. There we go. Ready for the tech that time. But an up air at 180 is going to be taking Jen's first stock. Yeah, Jen's survivability is so good. Just mm -hmm. able to live to such insane percents versus characters that have really good kill power, like Robin, we fit. Just knows exactly what the opponent wants. Instant dash attack, gonna be catching Jen and neutraling out of that situation, but another down tilt bear. There we go, and once again, Jen kind of mixing things up uh, with the ledge trap plan. I think that's the first time so far we've seen up smash in this set. But John Numbers has been ready for these platform cancel warps. And right here, Jen had a lead, but now numbers, once you get deep breathing and some just, basically just so little hits can bring it back, but beautiful empty land right there. That was a, a sick soccer ball angle that John numbers had right there, almost snipe, sniping at Jen. But now Jen in a little bit of a lead, seeing if he can hold on to his stock like, like we've been seeing him do so much so far. Yeah, I, I, I definitely can see him getting a good chunk of percent before losing this. Because right here, if you're numbers, you're just you're staying, you're charging sun salutations, but Jen doesn't care, you know? As long as you're not engaging, Jen has no risk of dying. So mm -hmm. it's, it's so good for Jen to just stay still right here, press back there a lot. Uh, yeah, I think mash. nothing would kill, so... I wasn't sure if uh, deep breathing up throw, maybe, but... Yeah, I, I've honestly... I couldn't even envision Wii Fit's up throw. <laughs> like, <laughs> not a movie C super up She does, like, a uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, volleyball setup. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, makes sense. And... Numbers, um, you know, despite being known for staying at ledge, when he does come off stage, he does it really aggressively. Even with these sword fire, we saw like ledge hop fares. But right. twice this game, we've seen a ledge hop up air and a ledge hop nair, just like that. Yeah, he's, and he's not afraid to do that. I think that's how you want to do it. Is you know, you get your opponent so complacent with you being at ledge. Oh wow, jumped into the explosive flame. That when you come off of the ledge, you know, you want it to be a big moment. You want to take advantage of that surprise, but the drag down there into the up tilt. Yeah, clean stuff right there. That is, um, Palutena, actually, I think, the, I believe the up tilt got buffed during her, like, nerfs. They, like, mm -hmm. were trying to compensate the down throw nerf, so they buffed that up tilt. It's a really good move. Such an insane disjoint. Like, she's totally invincible under the shield of that spinning staff. Mm -hmm. So, definitely, you know, I think something only going to be seen more and more in Palutena's kit. And good stuff from Jen right there. I think that's a true confirm. I think that was a shield pick, shield poke too. Yeah, that that looked like a shield poke. Just barely caught like Wee Fit's bangs. Yeah, male Wee Fit wouldn't have gotten caught. If you <laughs> yeah. Saw your hair. Ooh, trying to get the reverse to extend it more, but dropping it right here. The sneaky up air. Ooh, John Numbers trying to fight his way out with these headers, but the down tilt's been covering all of them. Jen, I think, gave a little bit too much space to John Numbers there. Uh, John Numbers actually recovered a bit high. Yeah, but spiking hit a few times. Jen doesn't really let it stop the ledge pressure situation. I'm, like Now at like a 30% lead. Nice timing by John. Ooh. Yeah, I think numbers, you know, when you're Wii Fit on ledge like that, you just pray for the day that they go for something that committal. And look at that. 
Jet was at like 50 when he did that up smash, and it resulted in him losing the stock with weak fist pressure on the ledge. So mm -hmm. you really just, you never really want to commit that hard unless you have such, such a soul read. Big shield damage coming out from John Numbers. Seeing Jen just going back to the classic ledge trap game plan, threatening a little bit with uh, the double jump fade back, but just, just poking out with bears, and uh, John Numbers is pretty comfortable right now. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, when you have the lead, it's one thing you can get a lot of chip, but, oh, good stuff. I was gonna say, you, I was gonna say, you have to go for something committal to close out a stock, and right there, Jen was able to find that really, really cleanly timed down air. I like the instant warp from Jen there, not double jumping into the header and risking an early second stock. Or at the very least, big damage. Rolling up tilt. All right, nice neutral air, catching the air dodge in. But, I mean, this is where John's been so comfortable this whole set. Jen has just not really been able to set up the, you know, the ledge trap set play that we, we've, we've known him for thus far. And for big header damage. Yeah, I think right here, Numbers is going to want to try finding space for the deep breathing. Okay. I, sh I should be John Numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to say, because when you're at both these 80, like, 90% ranges, it's going to be much harder for Palutena to get the early kill than we fit. So getting space to deep breathe can be the biggest way to swing momentum in this matchup. And Numbers did exactly what I said. Uh, not to pat myself on the back. <laughs> yeah. And right here, once again, if we just play this slow game, Numbers is fine with that. Jen needs to commit to something to close out the stock. Yeah, not able to find anything out of that down throw. Not even a uh, defensive option from John Numbers. John Numbers just able to jump his way into a better position. But finally, back air going to be catching that header. Yeah, and that, the header on stage was kind of strange from Numbers, you know. It's so safe to do it right away from ledge, but to jump on stage and header, Palutena can back at that 10 out of 10 times. Mm -hmm. That's what we saw. Not being able to punish that sun salutation. Surprising stuff. Dude, that was a tricky cross up from Jen right there. Now gonna be getting some uh, aerial strings of his own. Yeah, 44, now 56. And now this is where Jen doesn't mind, you know, the, the ledge game, because if you can chip damage, you can eventually get him to kill percent without putting yourself in too much danger. But that could have been the stock, honestly, if numbers had time to uh, down air that recovery. Yeah, either way, uh, Jen trying trying with the surprise factor, you know, like we were talking about before with John Numbers having the surprise factor of coming off ledge so aggressively, it works the other way around with Jen going for these more aggressive edge guards, and it, you know, it almost cost him, cost him the match. Yeah, for real. It's so scary to commit to an option like that. Now 153, deep breathing on deck. So much can kill Jen for the next few seconds. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. I wonder if Jen held down to go above the stage. Yeah. John Numbers has been doing such a good job of punishing the uh, the warps thus far. Oh, the shield is so low. And I think Numbers knew how low the shield is and knew how scared Jen would be and used that time to get uh, a full Sun Salutation charge. That could have been the stock. Numbers could have Sun Salutation that right there, but instead, lethal air dodge. Yeah. Sun Salutation catching the neutral air from ledge. Gonna be netting John Numbers that set. Yeah, really clean stuff from numbers. Just, um, I feel like every game he did something better and better when it came to dealing with Jen's, like, really solid game plan of these, like, uh, safe positioning and back airs and such. He, he did more and more to, like, use Jen playing safe to give him time to get the deep breathings, to get the neutral beast, and then exploit this campy play style rather than, um, kind of let Jen succumb, uh, succumb to Jen's, like, defensive play. Yeah, no, I think in that set, John Numbers really got to play the the gameplay and the tempo that he wanted, and it, it panned out for him. For sure. Okay, but 
Now we're gonna see Zamba numbers, and this is a uh, very heavily Zamba's favor. We saw a very close set last time, though. 